Hello and welcome to my channel. This is a new series that I will be releasing um, ideally once a week. The theme being, as you can see, learning German the right way. Now, when I say the right way, I mean from the perspective of me being the learner of German as a foreign language living in India, and also from the perspective as a from the perspective of a tutor who has been tutoring and teaching German as a foreign language to working professionals, school kids, and those who wish to go to Germany for their higher education. Now, uh, please excuse my bad English because it's not my first language. So let's get right into it. When it comes to learning German, there are n number of books that are available in the market, be it a structured course book and a workbook, or just a book for a casual learner, be it for tourist or for a medical professional. Now, when we look at books, we have to remember that a language is ever evolving. Think of how you used to speak five years ago and how your language has evolved in the last five years. You know, so the same applies to German as well, and essentially any foreign language really. So it's important for a learner, for a beginner, and also for someone who has been learning on their own for a while, but still is struggling a bit here and there, it's important to know that sometimes a book will get eventually outdated. So this video is dedicated for the books that we have in the market today in India and in Germany, and also what are the books that are popular in India? What are the books that are being used in Germany? And the best thing is that when you think of using multiple books, you have your own customized course. Now, while I do speak of books, I'm not necessarily talking to the tutors. Like I want a beginner or an advanced speaker of German as well as an intermediate student also to gain something insightful from this video. And that is the point of it. I would highly encourage independent learners too to make use of this series. So going back to what is your learning goal? Why are you learning German? Is it for leisure, for higher studies, for work? But you know, so there are multiple things that you would want to be aware of. Like, okay, if I want to learn German for my higher studies, be it student college or anything like masters or any, any other courses, then you would want a book that specializes in training you from that perspective. If you are a working professional, then you would want a course book that deals more with business communication. Now, I do happen to tutor um, a new course for the first time in India that deals with business communication in German. I will be making a separate video for it, that is the books for business communication, because as much as, as a tutor, I can offer you my services, it's completely, um, as in I would highly encourage if someone would want to learn business communication and on your own. So first is the series network. Those who have already learned German in India, especially in the last five years, would immediately recognize this name, Netzwerk and Aspect Annoy. Now, one thing about Netzwerk is that it's being updated and upgraded to Netzwerk Neu. In 2019, the book for A1, Netzwerk Neu, was released. This year, they released A2. And next month, that is January 2021, they are releasing the Netzwerk Neu B1. So, it, it's likely that Netzwerk will not be printed anymore and it will be discontinued. Now, because Netzwerk and Aspect and I are sold specifically for Indian subcontinent at a cheaper price by Goel Publisher, the books are, as in the entire set, I would say, is really inexpensive. But Netzwerk Noi, the series, starts from 18 euro for the course book and 15 euro for the Arbeits book. Then moving on to the next series that I have started using in my courses, that is Spectrum Deutsch and Begegungen for A1, A2, B1, and Erkundungen for the grammar and vocab course that I offer for the level B2 and C1. Now, Begegnungen is an old book. It's more than 
15 years old now, almost. I have written 2006 because that's the edition that I have, but the book wasn't released a couple of years before that. Spectrum Deutsch is like the sister edition of Begegnungen, which is again for A1, A2, and B1. The best thing about these three series is that it's one integrated course book and workbook. And because of that, in one chapter, there are different sections, like the first section that often deals with theory, vocab, grammar, everything you would want to know about the theme of that particular chapter. In Spectrum Deutsch, there is also a section that puts together all the important vocab and phrases that we have learned in that particular chapter. And it also have a chapter test as a part of the book. So once you are done with all the chapters, you can just review how much you have learned just by going through these chapter tests, which I think is super neat. Now, Begegnungen is one of the most popular series that is used in Germany. Spectrum Deutsch is also picking up. It's also used by NYU as of this year. And Erkundungen has also been popular, especially among those who wish to learn it for B2 and C1 examination. Then moving on to the next couple books, those who have learned German, uh, say in 2010 and before that would recognize these titles. And if you happen to be a student of German language, especially for 11th and 12th in Mumbai, you would recognize the name Themen Actual as well, because it was the book used by, as in recommended by rather, I would say, um, not only the Maharashtra board, but also by the colleges. Now, on the same note, uh, Balabharti, those of you are from Maharashtra will remember, the publisher of the school books in Maharashtra, they have released their own book for German as a foreign language for standard 11 and 12. And it is available for free, including the audio and video exercises. I will talk about, I'll talk more about that in another video of mine where I'll talk about the books that we have in the market for kids and young adults. So Tangram Actual, Temen Actual and Studio Day, these were once upon a time, one of the popular books. Now, Studio Day for A1 and A2 has discontinued by Cornell Silver Lab. It's no longer printed. And the stock, as in the books that we have, are really older, either the older editions or the editions that were printed only for Indian subcontinent. Then, moving on to other books that we have for regular courses for adults. So, you can take a screenshot if you wish to. We have mentioned, mentioned here, Panorama. So Studio Day that I mentioned just a few minutes ago that it's been discontinued, it has been now upgraded by, as replaced by, I would say rather, and with an upgrade under the title Studio Express and Studio 21. Then there is DAF Compact here. These are the books for CEFR A1, A2, B1. The books that I've mentioned below, Zischer, Mittelpunkt Neu, Weltblick, Compass, Studio, The Middle Stufa. These are for B2 and C1. Some of these books are available for the level B2.1 as well. Then moving on to the free books. Now, this is something that someone who wants to learn German on his own would want. And that's why I've put together just a few of the essential and guaranteed free resources, structured websites that are available today. So first is Deutsch im Blick by University of Texas, which is a free book that is available along with its audio and its video. And Grimm Grammar, which is the companion grammar <coughs> website for the particular course that takes you with the book Deutsch im Blick. Then there's also Tom's Deutsch Zeitung, one of my favorites, really. Wolkenkratzer is an ebook with, again, audio and video exercises that have been uploaded. So you can download the PDF, but you can use it as an ebook. You can leave your own notes and such. Sorry about that. On to the next book by Essential German, then German Grammar by Nancy Tulin. Uh, the last one, German Grammar by Nancy Tully, 
Nancy Tunin. It's actually a website where tutors can find a lot of free resources, free exercises that they can use in their classroom. But if you are a, if you are an independent learner or if you have learned German on your own, do check out the exercises that have been uploaded by Nancy Tolin. Uh, you can just search these names and the first website will most likely be the destination website. Then speaking of the books and apps that you can use as a part of your learning path, the first two series are very important. These are the grammar and vocab books by Huber Ferla. They have this one series called Wordcharts on Grammatic for A1, A2, B1. Then here an expression, Schreiben on Lesen, these four. Again, A1, A2, B1, B2, C1, C2 levels. Apart from that, Heiner Schenker, his books are really thorough. If you wish to learn German from the perspective of grammar, it's really, really very well written. Then the series of Practice Make Perfect. There are five to six German books by Edswick. Super neat. He has written books that are dedicated only to the verbs, then a book about the preposition, then a book about the vocab. It's very well written. Then a special shout out to Andre Klein and Jan Rister. Andre Klein has written the audio books, which are meant for learners of German language. Again, for A1, A2, B1, B2, and C1, C2. And Jan Rister is a German tutor who has written books uh, where one book is over 300 or 250 pages just for German grammar. I would highly, highly recommend those books as well. Then speaking of apps, I personally, now while I do recommend all these books, it's only because I have personally used those both as a learner of German as well as as a tutor of German. So speaking of the apps, Busu and Duolingo, my preference would be for Busu because I benefited from Busu a lot more than Duolingo, if I'm being honest here. But again, you can always try and see what works the best for you. Now on to the last part, what books do I use as a part of the courses that I offer? So for A1 course, I use the book Begegnungen, A1 plus. I use Spectrum Deutsch for A1 plus A2 course, as well as for A2 course, then A2 plus B1 course, as well as for B1. And I use Erkundogen and Aspect Neu exclusively for the grammar and vocab course that I offer for B2 as well as for C1. And then coming to the last point. Now, you will notice that a lot of these books do come in Teilband or a Gesamtband. That's basically a book that has been divided into two parts. Often it's the same content, but there are certain institutions, some tutors prefer to break each level down into two to three sections so that they can spend more time teaching and revising certain topics. But it again depends on you. If you would rather have one book as an or a set, then I would recommend that you go with a Gesamtband. If you are someone who would, you know, have a lot of time ahead of you and you can actually space out how much you would want to learn in say four months or six months, then I would recommend the Tileband. Now, um, I will be linking all the books that I've mentioned in the description. Please make sure that you um, go through the links if you want to buy any of these books. I, none of the links will be affiliate, so don't worry about that. And do make sure that a lot of books will have a sample chapter and the inhalt, the table of content, uploaded on it for free. So do check it out, compare the different chapters from different books, compare and see which one appeals to you most should you make a purchase. Thank you so much once again. I'll, I'll see you very soon with another video on business communication, followed by the German books that we have for kids and young learners in India and in Germany. Thank you. Tschüss.